He does. Coach Saban's run is ending after 17 seasons of unparalleled success in the college game. Saban won seven total national titles in his 28-year head coaching career. The only coach to have more titles than Alabama legend Bear Bryant. And Jeremiah Castile was an All-American defensive back for Coach Bryant back in 1982, now serving as the team chaplain for the Tide. It's wonderful to have you here. Your perspective is so important this morning. Um, what was your thought? You work so closely with the team. What was your thought when you heard this announcement yesterday? Well, just talk and conversation before the uh, semifinal game. People ask, well, how long do you think Coach will be around? I said, if you look at him physically, I think three to five more years. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, it was a surprise for mm -hmm. me, totally. Mm -hmm. And I think from a selfish reason, I, uh, being with Coach over the 17 seasons, wanted to see him uh, actually break Coach Bryant's record there at the university. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious because you have, you know, you, you have, uh, um, you're, you're so much closer than all of us uh, fans, but how will you personally remember Coach Saban, not only as a coach, but as a, a person, a man, and a leader? I put he and, him and Coach Bryant in the same category. Great leaders, great leaders of young men, uh, taking, as I said to Coach Bryant uh, the last game before we went out to play, Coach, thank you for taking a 18-year-old boy and turning him into a 21-year-old man. Mm -hmm. I think if you talk to the players that play for Coach Saban, that's what you'll hear. Raising great players, but also helping raise future husbands, fathers, men who go out into the world. For fans, the news was, was very shocking. For a player, especially a player who, who went to Alabama to play for Coach Saban, how do they process this, and how do you help them with that? Well, it's, I think the players that are there now, it's different for them than the players that are have played for them and they're into their careers. Uh, the players that have played for them now, I think that's, they're gonna, there'll be some disappointment there that, you know, they didn't get to finish their career up under that type of leadership. You know, I was on the phone with Caleb Downs yesterday. I, actually, when I, my, when it showed up on my phone, I, wow. he was the first person I called. He? he didn't answer, so I said, oh, I think they're probably in a meeting and they're getting, and coaches sharing that information with them right now. So what is your advice for the players to kind of help them handle this? Um, because this is, for, for players, especially ones playing, these young men, this is a big change in their lives. Mm -hmm. So what's your advice going to be to them? Take uh, the philosophy that Coach Saban taught them, and you live by that every day. And follow your faith. Yes. Jeremiah Castile, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. We didn't think we would see you this I know. quickly after our last but conversation with you. So thank you for being here with it's us. It's great this being morning. here this morning. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. An interesting view you've had mm -hmm. of this amazing run. Now, a difference maker, a father figure, mentor, and coach, former Crimson Tide player, Chris Rogers says he has many lasting memories of Coach Nick Saban, and he's proud to have been a part of his tenure at the University of Alabama.